Shalom and good morning, Brother Randy here. Uh, I've gotten a lot, some good positive feedback uh, by way of an uh, inbox and instant messenger. Talking about, uh, you know, uh, you know, how do you save, how do you go about save, what you're going to have to do, and I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to do a little, a mini service of, of things that work for me, and what I would like to share with you, because it worked for me. So I'll continue on uh, in that uh, uh, vein, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to apply it in your life. So, uh, let's say that you've gotten that flesh under order, and you want to to begin to save in uh, how in detail can you go about doing that and this video is going to be more centered towards purchasing and buying used one of the biggest aspects of savings is your ability to purchase what you need but at a steeply discounted price now how can you do that you can purchase used. Uh, here in the Prepper community, there's a whole lot of things that uh, people purchase uh, online and they purchase it new when they can in fact purchase it used. Uh, whether it's things online or things that you need to purchase for yourself or on homesteads. You do not need to purchase a brand new lawnmower when you can get a used lawnmower off of Craigslist. If you're going to be purchasing uh, uh, any tools, uh, you don't need to purchase new shovels, pickaxes, uh, uh, trenchers, uh, lawn mowers, uh, tillers, weed whackers, whatever it is that you need to purchase for a homestead. You can go right there on Craigslist and you can purchase it used and tax free so the idea is that you're avoiding the tax man and it's legal and you're also purchasing things that are used that you can fix and tweak up uh, last year i purchased a what is that a dodge dakota uh at a, about 160,000 miles on it i purchased it cash flat out cash and let me tell you that truck runs perfectly it runs perfectly. No issues out of it. Yeah, I have to, you know, but, you know, I had to replace the um, the rotors, things of that nature, things that are just going to naturally break down. However, uh, when it comes to the alternator, uh, I saw that the alternator was re was replaced. Uh, the engine, good, excellent condition. And that is my work truck. That's what I do. Uh, the majority of all my runnings in is my truck because uh you know it's a work truck and i'm a working man uh but also i can haul things in it uh uh, uh, uh all types of that uh you know kinds of stuff take a lot of stuff to the scrap yard get money at the scrap yard for for things so anything that you need uh guns the majority of my guns whether it's my shotgun or my rifles uh i purchased the majority of them used used off of other people so the idea is that you don't have to go ahead and purchase a new gun right you don't have to do that uh perfect example we had a brother here that uh he went ahead and he purchased a i think it was a a, a rifle and a shotgun and he already has a handgun the two main pillars of what you need rifle shotgun handgun and probably a hunting gun uh but the idea is that he purchased all of those used and at a steeply discounted price. And one of these rifles, they were real tricked out. It had railings on it, the sights on it, you know, everything, all that little stuff that they had on it. He purchased it, uh, you know, and it was all used, but he purchased it at a steeply discounted price. He did not pay full price for it. Cabins, trailers, uh, all of these things. You can purchase used. Right? Baby clothes. Baby clothes. You you, you having some babies? Uh, uh, go and work with other people that are having babies. And you trade those clothes with them. So you never have to purchase new clothes. If you're having a daughter, if you're having a son, you know somebody else that's having a son. Coordinate with them to get those clothes. You know how many clothes that we have, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, little baby boys, little baby girls, and even going on up. 
if you have a son that is five years old and somebody else has a son that is seven years old and they don't have no more sons, get those clothes from them. Well, you know, see, this is going to a pride and ego thing where people are too prideful to uh, ask another person for their stuff that they don't use anymore. Don't be prideful. Ask. Do not purchase new, purchase used in these areas. Don't go and finance a damn 72-month brand spanking new car. Well, unless you can get somebody else to pay for it. <laughs> but don't go and buy a brand new damn car because it depreciates in value as soon as you drive it off the lot. Stay away from high-end cars because even though those cars may be paid for, you know how much it costs to fix a Mercedes-Benz? Do you know how much it costs to fix a Saab? Do you know how much it costs to fix a BMW when a part goes bad on it? Thousands of dollars. And if you don't have the expertise to fix foreign cars, we've got a brother that knows how to fix cars. He don't know how to fix foreign cars, though. Got to take certain parts to the dealer. You know what I'm saying? Because those are very expensive anyway. So even if you do have a, a foreign car that is paid for, you still have to pay for the maintenance. And that is very expensive as a, and compared to its American parts where you can spend, uh, you know, uh, probably a couple of hundred dollars on some brakes on a foreign car. You may be spending nine, eight, a uh, thousand dollars on a brake system. So you see, you still is going to cost you long run depending on what you purchase. Purchase used. Fix it up. Learn how to fix it up. Uh, one of the uh, 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 things that I want to purchase is one of them uh, uh, small... Uh, uh, a Ford Jubilee tractors. That's one of the things that I want to get. I mean, I, I, it's just set in my heart that I want to buy a nice little Jubilee tractor. And I'll be able to get that thing. We as the brother in here will be able to fix that Jubilee tractor up and use that tractor. You see? These are all of the little things that you can do in order to save a tremendous amount of money clothes. Uh, we go right on down to the uh, Goodwill and we go ahead and purchase used pants, shirts to work in, boots if possible. Um, now there's certain things now, you know, let me drag, backtrack on that. Boots, I buy new. Me personally, I just go ahead and buy a new piece, a pair, pair of boots. You can purchase used and I have purchased, as a matter of fact, I do have a lot of boots and tactical boots and stuff that I purchased at flea markets that uh, uh, soldiers coming home from war have, you know, they saw all of their stuff. You can sell rucksacks, uh, 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 sleeping bags, things like that. You can purchase those you, but certain things, you know, you, you're, you're going to need to purchase uh, new. One of the things that I just started now right now is just purchasing um, some new boots, uh, you know, work boots to work in. But you can purchase used workbooks. I have purchased a whole lot of used workbooks in the past, uh, work boots in the past. So uh, all of these things, chainsaws, uh, what else can I think of? Clothes, materials. Uh, you know how much stuff that you can get on Craigslist and flea markets? I mean, just a steal. I mean, uh, just a literal steal. I have enough tools and stuff. Uh, that we purchased used uh, all my tools that I purchased on Craigslist or on uh, when I was in South Jersey There was a nice flea market called Columbus flea market where you can go out there on a on a first day and just rack up rack up I mean, it's just there for the taking so These are things that you can purchase These are things that you can purchase for a greatly steeply wow uh, discounted price and this will save you greatly you didn't heard wisdom here you're not going to get anywhere uh, uh in life if you don't know how to tighten up that belt all right stay blessed shalom